Okay, so this video is an important one. And it's one that I've wanted to make, well, kind of since I was diagnosed, really. So I'm like super happy filming it right now and sharing it with you today. And of course, the title of this video, as you can see, is Dear Nurses. So, where do I begin? Focus on what's real, man. Well, I could have done this as, well, you know, dear doctors. Or dear psychologists. Dear dietitians. Dear physio. Dear, well, all of the health teams, really. Because when it comes to cancer care, the experience that you have as a patient, every single member of that team is so important. But I wanted to make a special video directed to nurses specifically. Because of their intimate relationship with my health when it was at its most vulnerable. The very physical and emotional support that they gave to me, which extends beyond any duty of care and any work ethos, and just shows the true depths of what incredible people they really are. So rather than just say, you know, they're really, really good, and leave it there, you know, as like a comment, I thought I'd share anecdotes of where they helped me and show the care that I received. And I know some of the nurses that have actually cared for me during my admissions and my cancer care, they actually watch my YouTube channel as well. So if you are watching it right now, see if you can recognize yourself in any of these stories or maybe some of the stories you heard on the ward as well. Um, of course, this is all gonna be de-identified though. So, story time begins. Dear nurses, Thank you first off to the incredible job that the CNCs do. Your ability to provide undivided attention to the patients both in and out of the hospital is second to none. I remember when I woke up in severe, intense, agonizing pain on a Sunday morning. I sent a message to my CNC that Sunday morning and they replied within 20 minutes the management and step that I should then take to get assessment and treatment at the hospital and they had then gone ahead to organize this at the hospital all whilst they weren't even at work this was a Sunday that level of care goes beyond any job description dear nurses thank you for trusting <laughs> that I was taking my bicarb mouthwash and Neostat all of the time. The nurses that cared for me know how flexible I was in the frequency of the mouthwashes that I did. It tasted bad, okay, you can't blame me. But if you're on the wards, becoming neutropenic, do your mouthwashes, do your Neostat. They're so important, prevents the candida infections and helps with mucositis. So please do better than I did. I was nowhere near an exemplary patient as far as how that goes. But uh, thank you to my nurses for letting me be a bit flexible on how often I did it. <laughs> Dear nurses, thank you for just sitting with me. Times when they were really bad. Asking how I was, how I was going, and not as just part of a protocol of, you know, questions to ask, but because you were genuinely interested. Dear nurses, thank you for protecting my dignity in some of my most, well, most undignified moments, making me still feel like a respectable man. I was really at my most vulnerable and embarrassing stages that I can't even believe happened. Dear nurses, now, there's one in particular that I think of with this anecdote. I'm sure it's true for many of the other nurses at different hospitals. To this nurse, thank you for always being very blunt and direct and to the point when it comes to how things should go. Saying it for how it really is. And in my particular case, when I was needing my catheter drained, f four liters of fluid every 30 minutes due to the protocol I was on for the hemorrhagic cystitis. You made sure that every shift you were on, you took that duty on. You made sure that I was assigned to you. And you did this with incredible efficiency and tolerance for what you had to go through. And thank you personally for always supporting all of the nurses that are on that floor on the ward, for being their incredible mentor and being there when things get really, really tough. You're a strong personality and an amazing person. 
and I'm always comforted to know that you're on the board. Dear nurses, thank you for, well, when I was in a pretty bad state of both delirium and confusion during my induction chemotherapy site, warning all of the visitors that came to see me to speak to me directly when visiting. After I, well, in a delirious state, may I add, I did not know I was doing this, but after I blasted a doctor that was reviewing me during a fever spike of 41 degrees Celsius for not talking to me directly and instead of talking over. Sorry to that doctor, by the way, I didn't mean it. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I just was a bit exaggerated in my emotions at that time as part of the delirium, really. But thank you to the nurse and to each nurse that was caring for me during that to handing over to the next one to make sure that for people that came to see me, to support me, to visit me, you help them understand how best they could be there for me during this tough time and make it easier on them as well when I wasn't being very easy at all. Dear nurse, thank you for when I, well, fell out of bed at about 1 or 2 a.m. in a completely crazed delusional state, ripped out all of my cannulas, uh, my bowels decided to just let loose all over the floor, uh, whilst I was then laying on the floor in, well, you know, what I just released, along with all of the blood from my cannulas that I just tore out. You rushed in, you occluded the bleeds, you got me quickly stabilized and managed, and assured me it was going to be okay in a state where nothing was going right. But you were calm, you were controlled, and you helped everyone that was there with me as well during that as well. You took such great control of the situation, and I don't remember a lot during that induction cycle. It was, I have maybe a 10 to 15 day complete amnesia, but I recall that, that very clearly. Dear nurse, Thank you for when you took care of me on the night shift. I was a high dependency patient and I was probably screaming every 30 minutes. And every time I pushed that nurse call button because I was in such a terrifying agony, it wasn't pain, it was terrifying pain. Anytime I pushed that button, you would you'd run to my room. The difference between walking and running was maybe only a few seconds, but you thought those few seconds were worth you putting in that extra effort to make sure you were there, you knew exactly what was going on with me. You prioritized that so much. You wanted to reduce any length of pain that I was going through in that really difficult time. It was worth it to you. And I am so grateful for just that little bit of extra effort and care. I really valued it, particularly at that time. Dear nurses, to the same team on that night shift actually, who made sure that the ICU assist would get there every time. They prioritized getting the morphine to me as quick as possible because they knew how terrible the pain I was in really was. And whilst one was getting the morphine prepared, another was getting a bag of ice ready to help cool me down because I was in such a shocked state from the pain. The other was then observing for vitals and overall signs. And then the other nurse was there to hold my hand and make sure I was feeling okay and was trying to calm me down in this. I remember shaking and wailing in pain whilst also being silent at times just from the exhaustion of how much screaming I'd done in the pain I was in. So it was kind of like that surreal silence. And you were all there for me during that. You didn't leave my side. You kept me company in very dark times. You made sure I was okay. Thank you so much. Dear nurse, thank you for getting me the appropriate pain management. When I was in hell, whether it was during my neutropenic colitis and I would just lay there paralyzed stiff, or when I had my hemorrhagic cystitis, and I would be crying and rolling around in exhaustive pain. You knew the pain management that I required during this time. You knew what was needed and you can continuously advocated for me at times when I could not to make sure that I could be transferred onto a patient controlled anesthetic instead. When I was too exhausted and fatigued to speak up for myself to make sure I was getting the care that I required at that time. I can't think of what would have happened if I didn't have you then. But now, most importantly, dear nurses, thank you for helping me, everyone who visited, when times were, well, at their darkest, you are strained, you're tired, 
and most often you're skipping your breaks just to be there for us and help us. And in this you stay strong, caring, and always smiling, even if perhaps you're breaking on the inside. You are not unnoticed, and you are truly, truly valued. I cannot and could not have gone through this without you. I am alive today and here because of you. And what I've learned is that you are the lifeline of the hospitals. You know a patient better than almost anybody else. And now as a medical student, I always make sure before I see a patient, I find their nurse and I talk to the nurse about this patient because I can get so much extra details from that nurse that I couldn't get from anywhere else or anyone else because of how well you know that patient. Nurses, you're awesome. You're important and you are valued. I cherish each and every one of you. Thank you for your career choice and I'm so appreciative of every little thing that you do. You are the front line of care delivery and for me, you're everything. I hope you've enjoyed this, well, little insight into my experience with the incredible nursing staff. And I would love to hear if you have any amazing stories of how the nursing staff have helped you personally. Chuck it in the comments down below. Share these amazing stories that you've had as well. Or perhaps if you're a hospital staff member, share some of the amazing stories that you've had with some patients as well. I love to read and reply to the comments down below. It's really lovely just to meet everyone and I'm so grateful for that opportunity. Otherwise, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all doing amazing. And if you are in treatment for your transplant, for the cancer that you've just been diagnosed with or one that you've been battling for a while, I hope that today is a good day or at least better than yesterday. Sometimes that's all that we can hope for and we bloody deserve it, don't we? <laughs> Here's to all of my AML warriors, past, present, and future. And please do remember, if you like this video, please share, subscribe, like, and as always, I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. I'll see you then, bye. So as you know, um, when I'm filming these videos, I normally have some people with me that are behind the scenes and I just wanted to expose one of the people that really make this possible. He's uh, resting up right now, but uh, he's my moral support. <laughs> Look how comfortable he is. <laughs> it, was, it was quite funny to film this video with that little thing just snoring next to me. All right, see you later. <laughs>